Hypersensitivity reactions are dysfunctions in the immune response that can cause tissue injury and disease to the host body. There are four of them, and in this sketch, we'll start with type 1. Type 1 reactions are more commonly known as allergic or atopic reactions. In allergic reactions, the allergen, which is typically not a threat to the body, is erroneously tagged as one. So we'll start with the first phase, which we call prior sensitization. Think about it like the first time you see a mouse, you don't have a reaction, but that encounter leads you to develop a strong fear of mice. The immune system basically encounters an allergen and says, I don't like the look of this thing, which in this sketch is the equivalent of this mouse that was caught in the trap. But then an antigen presenting cell takes the innocent allergen, slaps an MHC class II molecule on it, and brings it to a CD4 positive T cell who's like, yeah, I don't like the look of this thing either. And then that CD4 positive T cell powers up into a Th2 cell and starts producing IL-4, shown here by this four-shaped dinner bell, which is neon yellow. And as a reminder, at Sketchy, we're coloring all the interleukins neon yellow to represent their role in signaling. Now this IL-4 can do a bunch of things, but it mainly tells B cells to do class switching to turn their immunoglobulins into IgE. And we're not talking about tiny amounts of IgE, we're talking obscene amounts, like irrationally laying mousetraps on every single flat surface in your house. We like to keep it simple though, so we have this IgE eel served on a platter with some antibody arrows stuck on it to help you remember. This should also help you think of some food allergies as type 1. 